Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. What? Anyway, I've never been in this type of restaurant before. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, what's new, Audrey? Well, work is going well. That's nice to hear. So, um, how are things with your husband? Jesus, Maxwell, can the pillow get warm from my ass? Why do you have to mention that right now? Because I, because I want to know what's up. I mean, what I'm waiting for? A polite, meaningless conversation? Goodness. Things are the same, Maxwell. Meaning, you didn't tell him? No, I didn't get around to telling him. So, so what are you doing here? Well, I wanted to see you. I didn't want you to think I was avoiding you because of this. Audrey, you know we shouldn't be seeing each other under these conditions. What conditions? We're about to eat Moroccan food. We're not having sex. Chill out. Do you, okay, do you not think I will miss being inside you? Do you? Of course I do. I miss you too. Audrey, I'm not going to let no false hope. There's nothing false between us. Our connection is real. I just don't know how to tell my husband that the same shit I've been holding over his head and filed a divorce for, I'm doing now. I understand. I mean, shit is complicated. Beyond complicated. I served him divorce papers and now I feel horrible. Audrey, I really care about you. I mean, I had no idea we'd be in this situation. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I saw that sexy face and I got caught up. I know now that you're more special than your looks and I don't want to lose you. Or my husband. Okay. Look, I get it, Audrey. I, mean, I don't want to press you, but I don't want to be creeping either. I mean, this shit just feels too dishonest. 